Welcome to Arlington Reflections. I'm Father Jonas John Peary. Today we shall look at the significance of fasting in Lent. Uh, fasting is one of the uh, pillars of Lent, the others being prayer and almsgiving. The word Lent comes from an old English word that means spring or a new birth. Thus, this time of the year helps us to renew our lives and renew our life in Jesus, in his church, and in his Father. These 40 days allow us to journey with Jesus through his passion and death, leading us to rejoice in his resurrection. This is the reality of the Paschal mystery, the essence of our sacramental life in the church. In order to be fully immersed in the Lenten experience, the church gives us three extraordinary ways to draw closer to this mystery, the Paschal mystery. These are prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. The word fast uh, in the Bible is from the Hebrew word sum, which means to cover the mouth, or from the Greek, Nesteo, uh, it means to abstain. Uh, this implies that no food or drink is going into one's mouth when one is fasting. Thus, although fasting is generally defined as going without food and or drink for at least a day or more in the biblical sense, fasting is a spiritual discipline. Uh, it is a voluntary abstinence from or the renunciation of anything that is uh, good in itself, such as food and drink, with the purpose of realigning the desire of one's heart according to the will of God. It is also meant to intensify one's expression of the need for something greater. Therefore, to fast is to choose to give up eating and drinking for a time for a spiritual purpose or a spiritual goal or a need for ourselves or others. Biblical examples uh, are given here to illustrate uh, this definition of fasting. In the book uh, of uh, Esther, Esther uh, facing the destruction of the Jews, requested that the Jews fast for her as she prepared to go before the king. She told Mordecai, go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast for me and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. Esther chapter 4 verse 16. Two, in Luke chapter 5, verse 33, Jesus was asked, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers? And likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but yours eat and drink. Notice, they knew that Jesus' disciples were not fasting because they were eating and drinking. Three, when the people of Nineveh heard Jonah's message, they believed God and proclaimed a fast from the greatest to the least among them. Jonah chapter 3, verses 3 to 10. The king issued a decree saying, Let neither man nor beast, head or flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. Jonah 3, verse 7. Human beings and even animals fasted. 4. Paul, uh, we see that Paul also fasted. When we read in Acts chapter 27, he spoke to those on the ship who had been fasting and besought them all to take uh, meat, saying, This is the 14th day that you have continued fasting having taken nothing. Acts chapter 27, verse 33. Paul encouraged them in the next uh, verses 
to to end their fast for their healthy for their good health and to take some meat and he himself took bread therefore fasting should not just be uh, done during the lenten period it should be a regular part of the christian life jesus clearly expects his followers to fast regularly when he taught about fasting in his sermon on the mount in matthew chapter 6 verse 16 he did not say if you fast but he said when you fast and in matthew chapter 9 verse 15 he does not say his followers might fast but he said they will fast thus fasting is something that jesus expects of us if we are uh, saying that uh, we are in a relationship with him and we are expected to go uh, deeper uh, in our intimacy with him. So fasting helps us to get deeper in our intimacy with Christ. For that reason, fasting should not be considered a method of dieting or slimming or losing weight, but a method for growing into deeper communion with God and being more in tune with his spirit. The primary reason to fast is to take our eyes off the things of the flesh or things of the body and to open our eyes to the things of God or spiritual things. St. Paul says, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your minds. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 to 23. We have said that fasting is a voluntary abstinence from or the renunciation of anything uh, that is good in itself, such as food and drink with the purpose of realigning the desires of one's heart according to the will of God. What are you giving up this Lenten season in order to realign your heart to the will of God? Fasting is also meant to intensify one's expression of the need for something greater. What something greater are you seeking this Lenten season? Till next time, May God give us the grace we need in order to enter fully into the demands of the Lenten season through prayer, self-denial, fasting, and almsgiving. God bless you.